I've got two different gadgets to show you today, and you're going to want both of them. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back, guys. Jason, KM4ACK. While we were at the Huntsville Ham Fest, I ran into Joshua from Tufton, and he showed me a couple of cool little gadgets. Now, these aren't the only two little gadgets he has. He has a whole website full of different little things that he creates and sells. So definitely head over to his website after you've seen this video. Just one of the things that he offers is a cover that I picked up back while we were in Dayton earlier this year. And that cover is for my FX4CR radio. And it just adds a little bit more protection to the front of that radio when I'm putting it in a pack. That cover is really nice because it includes the magnets to hold it securely to the radio. Now, I already had the older versions of both of these devices, and I've been using them quite a bit over the last probably two years or so. But the latest version makes it way easier to read what's written on the devices. So let's go ahead and jump over to the workbench, and let me show you both of these guys in action. All right, so let's take a look at these two devices, and then I'll show you how I use both of them. Notice that you've got in and out written on each of them. So that lets you know which way the current should be flowing and what you will do with each of these. So the first one we're going to take a look at is this one that's putting USB-C in and getting 12 volts out. So let me clear some of this out of the way here. And let's go ahead and just boot up this battery. Often this is the only battery that I will take with me. I use this for charging cameras, charging phones, and it's nice not to have to carry an extra battery just to run a radio. This is the FX4CR. We'll go ahead and take the cover off of it. Now, real quick, let's just check the voltage on this guy here. So we'll get the probes in, and you'll see that we're getting 12.11 volts out of this pack. So this is definitely doing its job in telling the battery pack that we want 12 volts. Now, let's go ahead and connect the radio and then we'll go ahead and power that on. In this case, this battery is plenty to run this radio. This is a QRP radio, and I've had zero issues running both single sideband and digital. Although if you're running digital, you will need to be careful. You don't need to run it at full power. That's going to be a little harsh on the battery. But as you can see, we're drawing out right now about 2.7 watts to power this radio. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other device and how I would use it. So occasionally I'm out playing radio and I don't have USB-C with me. I only have a 12 volt battery. That's where this one comes in super handy. We're going to go ahead and plug this up to the battery. And at this point, we've got a USB-C. Now we can use this to recharge all kinds of things. Primarily though, I use it to recharge radios. And as you can see, it takes that 12 volt battery, converts it down for USB-C, and allows me to charge HTs. So this works really well with the BTEC UV Pro. It'll work with the VGC radio, my Redivus RA89, my Kenwood D75. A whole heap of radios, especially HTs, are super easy to charge with a little device like this. And that's why I think every operator should have one of each. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.